Hello? Hi. Who is this? I'm Nikita. Um, hello Nikita. How can I help you? So, what do you want us to do first? Excuse me? All you have to do is just tell me what, what you, are you talking want, about? and I'll do anything that was on the list. Oh, okay. Who are you and how did you get this number? Mm, interesting. Interesting. What's interesting? Yes. Great. What are you... Do you even speak English? Yes. Okay. Who are you and how did you get my number? If you want, I can even call my girlfriend over for a little fun. Okay, you're not answering my question. I'm hanging up now. So, what do you do for a living? Okay, bye. Bye. Wow. Even they're outsourcing. Stupid telemarketers. Turn Me On Damn It is a story about a girl named Alma who lives in a small Norwegian town. Feeling trapped, she struggles to hold back her restlessness, active imagination, and her sexual cravings. She deals with some of her addictions through calling a phone sex hotline. However, after an awkward encounter with a crush of hers at a party, Alma becomes a social pariah being made fun of by a lot of the kids in the town. Not knowing what to do and having no one really believe her other than her best friend, Alma must deal with her teenage sexual awakening, the rumor mill in town, and really learning about relationships. Now this film is a coming of age and sexual awakening story, and the tone of the movie is set right away. The movie starts off to the point with the main character, Alma. She is in a room pleasuring herself while on the phone with a phone sex operator. Yeah. Anyway, Alma and her best friend really hate their boring town and it shows heavily throughout the film. Now, the acting seems a bit dry but that could be attributed to the characters that they play and were written for them or the possible inexperience in some of the young actors. The story plays around with Alma's sexual fantasies that when a certain act that is the center of all the rumors surrounding Alma happens and takes place, the audience may also question to some degree whether Alma is making up the event or if it really did happen. The movie also highlights the difficulties of being a hard-working single parent, even in another country other than the US and also in very small towns. Now, there were quite a few funny moments, especially with the neighbor who spies on Alma and her mom. The ending landed on a feel-good moment followed by a funny moment. However, it does beg the question, is sex really the only or at least the primary and main thing teenagers, especially of generation Y and Z, think about? Quirky and kind of funny, this was a nice Norwegian film that tackles the coming of age and sexual awakening of teenagers in an interesting way. I give this film a B-. Well, that's it for this film. We've got quite a few more left to go here on my list. And until next time, class dismissed. <laughs> <laughs>